Hey, what's going on ladies and gentlemen, my name is Nicholas Kidd, thank you so much for tuning in to today's video and in today's video, what we're going to do is literally everything, we're going to root, uh, unlock your bootloader, install a custom recovery all on your Samsung Galaxy S7 and the S7 Edge. So before we begin, I just want to thank my friend Kelson uh, for you know guiding me through this because I could have never pulled this off if it wasn't for him. And also, um, I need your full attention in whatever that we are going to do because if you follow me step by step, process by process, um, you will succeed. And so yeah, I need your full attention right now. So just a disclaimer, I will not be responsible if you break your phone or set it on fire or whatnot. <laughs> but if you follow this tutorial closely, I doubt that will happen. So doing this process, your warranty of your device will instantly be void. So make sure you do check all your hardware, so, you know, make sure you go and do some testings and see whether if it's uh, working perfectly fine. Because if it's not, uh, after doing this test, you will not be able to maybe change for a new one or such because you have void your warranty. One more thing is um, make sure you have a backup of whatever you have in your phone to your desktop because throughout the process, we will erase your internal storage. So make sure you back up your pictures, uh, songs, or whatever that's in your phone. So with all that said, Let's get right into it. So just a couple of stuff we have to prepare before we begin. First of all, of course, your S7 or your S7 Edge, your uh, cable, the cable that comes with it, and uh, a SD card. Yeah, this SD card here, it's really important. We will have to use it um, halfway through the steps. And this is optional, but if you have one, it would be great. This is a... Uh, SD card adapter, but if you don't it's fine. It's just I think it's just me ma it makes life simpler So before we proceed any further just pause this video for a while go into the link in the description box I have two different folders uploaded to my Google Drive So it depends whether if you're using the S7 or the S7 Edge So download the file that is appropriate and then We'll begin six and a half hours later. So you've gotten the file downloaded all right, everything cool? Good. So now we are going to head over to my desktop and uh, open up the file here. So I already have all of this. Uh, it was all originally in my laptop. So okay, now what we're going to do is head to your phone first. Go to settings. All right, hit all the way down to about device. Scroll all the way to software info. And then uh, you'll see this thing called build number. So just uh, tap on it for a few, a couple of times and it will tell you that developer mode will, uh, is now activated. So go back to your settings and you will see developer options. All right. And then turn on OEM unlock. All right. Just switch that on. So for those of you who do not have the adapter, now is probably a good time to connect your phone to your desktop. So once you connect, it would say uh, allow access to device data. So allow, and then it will instantly pop up here uh, at your desktop. So copy uh, a couple of files into your SD card, which is already inside here. Uh, because since if we're not using the adapter. So all right, the files that we need to copy is uh, beta, super SU, no verity, uh, this is for the encryption thingy and also um, This you know what actually yeah, actually it's just these two files so copy that Go into uh, the card Yeah, so I have it already in here, so I don't need to so just copy it into the card So do plug out your USB first now. We're going to hit into our the place where we install our custom recovery so what you're going to do is uh, your standby button your volume down and your home button press all together at the same time until it uh, goes into the place that we want to so all right the screen blacks out 
and yep you receive something like this it says uh, warning a custom OS can cause critical problems all right so if you want to continue press uh, volume up and we have something like this all right cool so after that make sure you plug in back to your desktop all right cool okay so now we are going to fire up Odin here Odin open up the application and uh, once you have if your device is plugged in you will actually see this thing here 0 com 6 it may be a different number but it's fine so uh, go to options make sure it's uh, the setting it's like this make sure you do not have repartition tick okay cool and uh, next up you are going to click on here AP all right make sure you have this small little tick here so click on AP and then go into the file where you downloaded all the stuff that I told you to so mine is right here and click on TWRP uh, 3.0.2 this is the uh, custom recovery image for your S7 alright so once we have that loaded as you can see they say added here we are going to start before we start the process have your phone ready in your hands because once the uh, installation is done you have to quickly head into your recovery mode do not let your phone boot into its normal system all right so be aware of this once the installation is done quickly head into your recovery mode so in order to do that you have to um, press all three buttons at the same time this time around it would be your standby button volume up and your home button all at the same time so are we ready start let's do this okay so start initializing done 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 all right so the screen blacked out quickly pressed on it don't let it boot into your um, system all right so I'm quickly doing mine right here an eternity later so if your attempt is successful you see something like this this is TWRP successfully installed on your S7 or your S7 Edge uh, if it fails don't worry just restart and just do it again so once you have this done you have to wipe your internal storage so all you have to do is go to wipe advanced wipe internal storage make sure you don't wipe your micro SD card because that's where our file is located at so just swipe to wipe and uh, I'm not going to do this here because I've already done this step so yeah just go ahead and do it so after wiping go into install up a level and then hit to external SD that's the place where you you're able to find the two files that you first copied to your micro SD card so flash them both uh, what you're going to do here is click on uh, press the no verity uh, encryption file add more zips at the uh, beta super su and then swipe to confirm flash once you've done that make sure you uh, wipe your delvic and catch and after that you're good to reboot back to your system so i think that is pretty much the whole entire process of routing and unlocking the bootloader on your samsung galaxy s7 so if you have successfully accomplished this task congratulations you did it and if you would like to explore more i have uh, two, th two things to recommend here so um, right now you're you're free to flash anything that you want and i would recommend this superman rom uh, for the S7 and S7 Edge and uh, Jesse's kernel these two are one of the best combinations that you can get out of your Galaxy S7 so th it has a good battery life and really really good performance so that is pretty much a wrap for today's video I hope you guys did enjoy it and hopefully this tutorial uh, is clear enough and it's able to help out most of you who are interested in rooting your Galaxy S7 um, 
that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. As always, my name is Nicholas Kid, and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.